What's up guys, Takedown here with another story time for you. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Right now I have planned up until the middle of May. So I'm doing pretty good with that. And that's as long as I keep this once a week schedule. Keep on uh, doing that. I know Tuesdays was what I said um, was going to be story time, upload day. I know that's going to change in the future because I know stuff, my job, are going to be changing, hopefully soon. Um, but it will still be a once a week upload, whether that's a Tuesday or whatever day. It's going to be my day off that I upload for that week. So just wanted to put that in the video at first. But let's just get into this video. As you can see by the title, we are going to be talking about school projects. Most of this was high school and let's just get right into it. Now I'm going to be talking about, um, there's going to be a science project, there's going to be a automotive project, or one or two automotive projects, and wood shop. I was always in shop classes. That has always been my thing. I love building stuff, taking stuff apart. That's just who I am. That's what I enjoy doing. Um, but let's just start off the earliest one, which is a science project. So this was, I want to say the ninth grade. So yeah, we would have been in high school, ninth grade. Um, we were in science class and there was a science experiment portion of it. So you and a group of friends, so it was me and another guy. We did a science project uh, experiment that we were actually wanting to do the year before. Problem is in the eighth grade, they're more particular of dangerous stuff, and they thought this classified in as dangerous. So the next year, when we were in, finally in high school, we asked if we can do that for the experiment project. They said, or she said, yes, that is fine, because nobody else has ever wanted to do it. So we thought, okay, this is going to be fun. And what it was is, I can't remember what we titled it, but we both brought hot sauce, different hot sauces, and it was an experiment to see what uh, helped with our mouth the fastest. And I think we both had 20 bucks, or maybe we only had 20 bucks in total. And we filmed it at my cousin's house. She let us use her backyard kind of to film it because we recorded it. I don't have that footage. That footage would be nice for the channel. But I don't have that footage, unfortunately. But because um, it was so freaking long ago. But we went to the local convenience store. We picked up juice, milk, um, and different stuff. We had a list of stuff. But we only had, each of us tried, so for example, we bought a one bottle of juice. Only one of us tried it. So the theory portion of it, we're just going by what one person said. And it actually turned into a disaster. Here's how. Right off the start, Mine was like a liquid one. He chose Tabasco. So mine was the juice, not a sauce, the juice. And it had the seeds in it. So our mouths were on fire right from the get-go. So we just started scarfing everything down. We tried one thing. No, this doesn't work. Quickly go to the next thing, open it up, try it. Nope, that doesn't work. Throw that. It was a mess. I think we passed... And I think she gave us a credit because we attempted it, but the heat was just too much and we couldn't focus on the experiment portion of it. We just started downing everything that we just purchased to try to stop the heat. It was funny. That's why I'm sharing it. I think it's really funny, but yeah, it was incredibly, incredibly stupid, funny, and it was hot. So it was a waste of an experiment. But it was funny. Now moving on, it's an auto shop one. Might as well start with auto shop. There's actually a few more than just the two I was going to say. So the shop teacher, one of the first projects I remember was probably the 11th or 12th grade. And he purchased a truck. It was a 1980s, late 80s, early 90s Ford F350. So it was a big truck. Is that... Uh, the big model and we had to take the whole interior part seats the trim everything and at first we thought we we're painting it turns out we were just cleaning it 
literally we had mop buckets, scrub brushes, and we were just scrubbing the crap out of it. Um, it was fun taking everything out and putting everything back in. That's literally all we did for that truck. So that was kind of stupid, but I thought uh, I might as well mention it because that was kind of a project, if you will. The next thing is the teacher actually got a 1970s, um, no, I want to say 66 for some reason, Dodge Dart. It was a barn, yeah, barn find, I'm trying to think of the word there. <clears throat> it was a bar find, so it was rusty, missing parts. The whole front end was like it was gone. He took it from an old lady, and she said, as long as you're going to restore it, this car literally needed at least thirty to forty thousand dollars in order to be able to run it. And that's not that's not having it at a high grade value. That's just to be able to have all the parts there running. And it was a rare car. That year was the rare one because the back window was curved. So we smashed that window. It was over. So we never really finished it before graduating. And then a couple years later, he got rid of the car. I think he gave it back to the lady because that was the condition when he got it. But that was fun, kind of <coughs> kind of tearing apart um, the vehicle, even though it was already almost gone. The stupid stuff. They had an oil jug strapped um, under the hood with all the washer fluid. And so that's what the reservoir was for the washer fluid. It was an old oil jug. So it was kind of funny. Um, we took apart a Jeep. It was the uh, one of the ones that the hood or the, the windshield flattened. Uh, I want to say a Safari Edition. And then the best project for Auto Shop was um, he wanted us to make a... I want to say still, but I know it wasn't a still. A... Um, Oh, it's going to come to me. Anyways, we were fabricating. Um, we had these metal. I don't even know where he got the metal from, but he, he ended up getting metal from somewhere and he got a lot of sheet metal and we fabricated this like long box. But every time we would go and start fabricating it, he, the next one day he'd be like, do it like this. So we would weld it and we'd weld on top of it and it'd square it off. And then the next day he'd be like, no, take that apart. So we'd have to take it apart. And then the next day he's like, okay, now what I want you to do is he's like, I want to cut and make it flush. And it's like, holy crap. Every day, every time we'd get ahead and we'd almost get done, he'd stop, change it. And that's why the project never got done. It was um, for maple syrup to get the, the, the heat, the evaporator maybe. I can't remember what it was called. It was heavy as hell. But whenever we graduated, we just got the sheet metal cutted cutted wow we just cut the sheet metal for the bottom part but all year two classes each day for an entire semester and one class a day for the second semester we didn't get it done we didn't get nowhere near done but that's because he kept changing it we had to keep taking stuff apart and that so that was kind of funny kind of stupid but the best one of my favorite projects for um that I've ever done in high school would be wood shop. I actually built my mother a giant uh, wishing well and it was heavy. And the part that I'm proudest about is the fact that I drew up the design myself because I couldn't find anything that I liked online. So I had to hand draw the design, all the dimensions, make it work and it worked. And we still have it to this day. It's Honestly, I would put a value of 150 to 250 on it because that's what somebody would pay for something like that. The base is what's heavy. We took, it was all made out of two by fours and it took 97 pieces, one foot pieces cut and we just took a barrel and we, I'd cut one, put it in, cut the next, put it in, flip it, cut and just do that for an entire class. People were pissed we took the tool up that long, but I mean, we couldn't help it. That's, we need the base done first. Screwed it all together, had to make the, um, for the roof, the stands for the roof, put the roof on, and then my dumbass put, drilled the hole in for the pole, up way too high, so the roof was here and this part was here, so you couldn't see it when you're looking at it, and it was crooked, so dad fixed that, 
um, after I graduated high school. I think maybe after we got home because he wanted to fix it. it. Lasted one season, but in the winter it made it all um, brown or black moldy looking. Uh, we did stain it, but the stain was light stain, so we had to, actually had to stain it dark. Shingled the roof after we got it home, I think, because the shingles on it were no good. Actually, no, I, I take that back. I think we shingled the sides, but the top, there was no flat one, so we couldn't finish the top. So we did that after we brought it home. We got shingles somewhere. But that would be the biggest project. Took the longest. Took two of us doing it for most of the year. Cost... I would say 50 bucks to build because you have to pay the supplies whenever you get into the big projects. Um, so 50 bucks, that was at a really cheap price and we can sell it for 150 to 200. I gave it to my mother because she'd been wanting one for years. So I built it for her, gave it to her. Probably never going to get rid of it. She loves it. Um, there was some other stuff I built in high school in shop classes. I can't quite remember everything. But I will leave this story time here. Basically, it was just me going on about projects I've done in high school, mumbling again. But I enjoy making these videos. I'm going to continue doing it once a week, uploading once a week. Um, I have plans up until the end or the middle of March. Or wow, screwing that up. Middle of May. I think you guys are going to really like April and May. What I have planned because it's I really had to sit down stop and think about my past about my childhood places we went stuff that's happened to me and some of the stuff coming forward is going to be hilarious so give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and i hope you guys enjoy this series because it's it's going to be fire but i'll see you guys in the next one peace